Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, I'm back playing some more Marold. Uh, and there is a couple of reasons. Firstly, I was actually quite enjoying the game. I didn't know if I was going to do a one-off episode of it, but I'm willing to play a little bit more of this at the very least. Hell, I might even be willing to complete the game. It has this stack cleanse element. I enjoyed stack cleanse. We did quite a lot of stuff with that. Uh, and it's a, like a text-driven RPG narrative game. Uh, potentially decision matter type game. Pretty good. And it has a card game in it. So all things that I like. Now, I will say, and I don't know if this is in here or where it is. The developer tweeted out, what's his name again? Sorry, I, I literally looked it up and then forgot instantaneously because I'm a little bit dumb. Uh, Ren Renka, sorry, I was gonna call him Renko. Renka messaged out and said like, I apologize for certain aspects of this game. And I thought it was gonna be, you know, some commenter was like, oh, the, the English or the Japanese to English translation or where it is, Korean to English translation is not up to par. And he was apologizing for that. But no, he was actually saying that the... He feels like it was a bit frustrating for people to play, and that's kind of the consensus, I think, on the comments right now. Because it's so hard to figure out what the crafting recipes are supposed to be. So, he said he was going to put a tutorialization for the crafting recipes. Now, I don't know if that's on the old saves, or if I've lost it and I don't get to use it. Uh, but I don't see it in here at all. Uh, but maybe we can unlock it in some other way. Uh, and then there's a few other quality of life things that have changed. Again, I don't know if my version has got it, but it was basically that you could click around places instead of just dragging people onto it to move around. Uh, it's also been a few days again since I've played this, so apologies if I, if I F up. Okay, I just put that in my thing. Oh, okay, so this is how they've done it. Character plus tree plus branch plus tree branch okay we figured that out we figured that out we figured out the various dishes we figured out a workbench metal workbench plus metal gets crass can be sold in the shop oh okay so that's all that does character plus, plus, plus metal equals tools black slime plus strange box equals sticky little box all right i'll do it Using it will remove all attributes, enhancements, and return the points used with caution. Okay, so that is a special item in that regard. Now, what was the mysterious compass? I'm not sure who left this compass. It can reveal the purpose of items or provide clues about the scene. Keep it if you find it useful. Let me just have a look at this, how this works. So if I do this, the compass points to the wind-powered carousel. Oh, so it like literally tells you what it is. I think that's a little bit spoiling, but I guess it's a quality of life thing if you enjoy that type of thing. So maybe this gives me more of a, it'll give me more momentum because if I get really stuck on something, I can just cheat, <laughs> just cheat. So we have carousel here. So I assume I stick crying machine on carousel with a person maybe, with a stack of people, okay. Where are you, compass? Maybe this isn't the wind-powered one. It doesn't say wind-powered, so maybe, maybe not. Now, I think we've done this right. There's nothing else here for us. Oh, drone team. I think this is something else that we need to do. Oh, I think that was the quick button as well to get out. I think we just need to explore places to completion before we leave. All right, a bunch of shadows. Am I scared of a bunch of shadows? They get stronger and stronger after each attack. They are shadow creatures though. Don't we have someone with a trait of dealing with shadows? Uh, no, quite the opposite when attacking light types. Let's have a crack at this. They are getting stronger, but that doesn't matter. Our team of ladies is cracked. We get a strange box again. We now know what that's for. And we can return.
Flowers bloomed quietly in the small flower beds, which seemed to show signs of tending. Oh, cool. Flowers. Very nice. I assume we get something that can deal with flowers. Uh, a little fire has burned out and could not be rekindled. A wisp of smoke wafting from it revealed that it had been extinguished and at the same time seemed to be pointing in some direction. As you stand in front of the recently extinguished fire, pondering who left the remnants of the flames behind, a gust of wind suddenly blows by. But to your surprise, the smoke billowing from the fire doesn't follow the wind, but drifts off in an entirely different direction. Ah. You decide to follow the trajectory of this smoke and soon discover a hidden trap door in the gloom of a ruin that seemed to lead to an unknown place underground. Are we going to the furries? The narrow passageway winds steeply and leads uh, the way to a secret path to an unknown world underground. Let's unlock it. Oh my fucking god. The bad news is that you stepped on a small mechanism. The good news is that the nature of the mechanism gave you a chance to uh, react. 24 attack. The secret path mechanism. It has 300 health, but he loses all health after 5 rounds. So if you can survive through 24 damage for 5 rounds, you're actually fine. I can't do that right now, but maybe we need to set a team together of super dodgers. So I think that's the ruins then done, right? Oh, am I not even... Wait, why am I not allowed back in there? Hello? Alright, we'll worry about that in a moment. Maybe someone's exhausted? Oh, someone's exhausted. That's why. Alright, let me try this. What if I click level up instead? How do I know how many times I can upgrade this? Also, am I getting the person? Like, what's stopping me just jamming the button? Anyone? 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 <laughs> Do you know what's going on here? I mean, it's going backwards and forwards, right? So, is this just showing what happens when you level them up? Like, is it giving me a preview? Let me try this in the night. And have a look. Upgrade times times four. So this didn't actually do anything, right? I just don't understand how I upgrade people. The character dies to crit chance is converted to crit damage. What is your thing? Increase your damage rate 30% when attacking light type targets. Maid, I think you're just gonna hang around back here. Well, hello, where did my person go? Oh, are you not allowed to support your own no, you can. Never mind. All right, we'll give it one of those. Also, let me just lower the speed again. You guys can just chill out together. You need to go to the airship. And we kind of need some people to do a little feasting. Okay, we have honey. We have strange fish. We do have a grilled buffet. I'm kind of damned to use it, though, because... Just simply put, no one needs it. Although, actually, you're pretty close to needing it. All right. Grilled buffet. Enjoy. Full heal. Very nice. Give me the apple. We'll take an apple, a lemon, and a berry. And we'll put it on a campfire. Made some sour juice. Oh, baby. The sour juice. Delicious. What have we just done? You gain a food item that can enhance your growth. If the character is a talent point, the character will permanently increase the ability and decrease the talent pool point after one usage. Please note if the character has already used the food, the food will not grow the character, meaning you'll need to use a different food to keep the glow in the character. I don't understand, but you know what? We'll we'll figure it out. 
I think it gave you an extra attack, but I'm not entirely certain. Like, this menu is the, the bit that, like, confuses me the most. More so than the crafting, even. Anyway, what else have we got? We got some berries. I have a bit of honey. Is that really it? Oh, no, I have got some more food. I was going to say, if that's it for food, we're actually in a little bit of danger. What was that? A sweet fruit salad. Please. All right, delicious and nutritious. All right, everyone's now chill again. Right, where can I go then? So we have settlement. And we now know in the market, we can sell crafts, which I believe are these. And that's all they're used for. So that token in the bottom right is money. And I can buy food number one for five, food number two, five, and bar five. I kind of want to save my money for something a little bit more useful. Employee staff 10. Maybe 10 coins per try. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It's just a way to incentivize you to explore above our and exact words. Okay, I'll buy. Really, I have to drag it one at a time. Is this what we're learning? Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Oh, okay. We get a reference letter. Is it the same as all the other reference letters? It is. I, I've been had. <laughs> I've been had. There is a 15% chance of an action. Support skill doubles action probability in attack when acting as a support character for the action figure. Ignores minor effects during attacks. Uh, let me grab the machinist because we have actually come across machine type enemies now. Uh, machinist, just go over there, please. I'm sorry. I don't want to look at you right now. I've just spent 10 gold on you. And do you have anything new to say to me? You probably have some really important pros in here for me, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that bothered right now. I think I have a decent on that understanding of the, the gimmick. Now, where have I not been? I thought I'd, I'd done the forest, but maybe I haven't. And I still don't know what these trees are for yet. Oh, a light group. Oh, I, I can't be bothered putting the person in again that does more damage to light. Go get him. Stardust fragments. Okay. You lost in the forest with nothing to show for it. All exploring out okay i thought we'd finished this i was just wondering why it was still here and i think this explore nearby forest is for uh getting food basically just to never run out of food so we have this stardust fragment now as well what is this sorry and where is it Shards of glittering fascination like ubiquitous fireflies around you, and the epitome of the stars in the night sky. Multiple fragments can be combined together. Alright, well, I at least know what I can do with that. Let me go back to the highway. What was gatekeeping me here? It's dogs, right? Never mind. Or is... Oh, my God. Or is that for the... Please, let me... Let me out! <laughs> Maybe it's here. There is dogs. Yes. And they summon alpha wolves every two rounds. Do I think my party can defeat this? 
I'm not convinced. But I think I kind of have to do this. I think this is an area I have to progress in now. So let me see how badly this goes. I kind of need to kill the Alpha Wolf as quick as possible. And it turns out we're gods. Look at all that meat as well. Delicious. I can't imagine Wolf being delicious though, now that I think about it, for like a microsecond. I imagine it's a very gamey and tough meat. Are you? Your path is hindered by a group of wolves again. They look even more unusual than the last group. You sense a strange calm within their pale eyes. There is a strange crow, a strange wolf, and a strange wolf. They have lifesteal. And the crow drains attack instead, but has zero attack, and attacks three times per round. Uh, that's cheating in Hearthstone, you can't attack when you have zero attack. Well. The lifesteal, pretty brutal. But my party are unbelievably good. Black Slime, you're mine. Give me the strange meat as well. I guess for now, you we have to chill out for a second because I need everyone to fucking heal again. Uh, take that, take that. A noble rare, a cleric rare. Gain three mana during combat is the support skill. Increase the chance of being attacked is their main skill. Noble rare, increase attack by two whenever a character loses mana in battle. If character has no mana, increase damage by 30%. Hello, noble. And... Increase crit chance by 20%. No. Goodbye. Hello. You. Let's just keep stacking damage upon damage. So I think you're just chilling out over here then for now. I have nothing better to do with you. Sorry. Okay. How much, <laughs> how much meat do I have? I have all of the meat, right? We have strange meat as well. I don't know if I want to eat the strange meat. Give me a meat, a chili, a wild vegetable. This sounds delicious. Spicy something skewers. Was that? Yum, 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 yum. Uh, you guys haven't taken any damage, interestingly. So I will not feed you. Alright, back to the highway. I'm kind of hoping the car is on the highway. Because we have some car keys. A small plaza. At the end of the highway is a small plaza. At the edge of an abandoned city where multiple roads converge, shyly stringing together and unknown in the distance. Ah, so we have the small plaza, a fountain, a lock yard, a megaphone, the business district, the residential area. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let's have a look at the business district. Although the area is abandoned, the vaguely recognizable layout of the street still exudes the prosperity that once existed here. Among the fragments of this memory, a twin tower is particularly eye-catching keeping people from getting lost in the town. Vinegar, chili powder, and sugar. Okay. There is an alley in one corner of the commercial district. Compared to the bustling main street, there is more than a hint of life here. Of course, it's become silent now, and the stories and lives that were once intertwined here have passed with time and nowhere to be seen. Have a look in the alley. An abandoned car? There is a touch more life here than on the bustling main street. Of course it's become silent now, and the stories and lies that were once intertwined here have passed with time and are nowhere to be seen. Hang on a minute. No. No. Oh. 
wait. What are these coins? Are they toy cars or something? Do I get in them just go backwards and forwards like that? I guess like that because it's a steering wheel. Can I not rob the cars? The car has been abandoned by the age of people. There's nothing useful on it. Let me, let me in, <laughs> let me in. I guess that means the coin laundry room. It seems still working. Clean your stuff here if you need it. Something slimy, for example. Uh, what if I clean the sticky little box? Help? <laughs> Where's my box? Hello? My box? Well, it's gone. It's gone. See you later, box. Didn't know what you did anyway. It's not in here somewhere. Did it just destroy it? Is it literally if something says slime on it, it just destroys it? I thought I could make like a clean box. Uh, Alright, go back to the business district, please. Uh, back to the alley? The live house. Oh my god. Reading live house on its signboard. However, it's not what the signboard tells you. Strange things are placed in this underground space randomly. Nobody can tell there are any connections between them. It may be some workshop of a weirdo. Whiteboard. Is this going to be a code? Hello, two-eyed shadow. All right, so... Flower. Times... A... Capital A-ish with a flat top, which is less than. Plus, inside of a box, there is a little set of stairs, minus a house type thing. I don't know if this is like kanji or something, but that's how I read this. It can't be, the shawl is not kanji, which is just a flower. All right, the sofa does nothing, the chessboard does nothing. What about putting coins in the vending machine? Stardust. Now, does this repeat? And then apparently I can combine Stardust as well. Maybe I need the workbench. I have no idea. All right, we'll have a look at the scarecrow then, I guess. The scarecrow has different functions. It can measure the width and quantity of the battlefield. Which one do you choose? Three one three three five one five five. Give me three three, please. Ha! Huh. Highest damage in current mode zero. It is a five attack unit with 900, no, sorry, 99,999 health. Oh, and there's three of them. All right, see you later. Go fuck yourself, Scarecrow. You sit in the live house. Sorry, box. Goodbye. Uh, explore the district some more, I guess. Ah, some cans, which I think can just be sold for stuff, then. Strange Wolf Group number two. Uh, we beat these before, we can beat them again. That is the theory. Although I think they're a bit stronger, they have four mana this time. And they are kicking the shit out to me right now. Oh, never mind. They're kicking the shit out of one of my people. They've killed one of my people, but that's not the way death works in this game. 
I'm still kind of damned to eat strange meat right now. I don't know what it does. I'll be back. Oh, I have a thing here. What what have we got now? A can. You obtain a can. Open the can with a tool. Okay. Uh, you'll see what the can does. The rarer the can, the easier it grants you with a powerful effect. Meanwhile, you can display the can on the marketplace. Okay. Well, I'm glad he told me that because I would have 100% just sold these. So they need a tool. So this is the reason why you make tools. We're learning. So we have spam and canned beans. You will take the spam. What is your thing? You will take the canned beans because you want more health. You won't take the canned beans apparently because you refuse to eat. Oh, because you need to rest. So you can't take actions. I'm remembering, okay? Then I need to do some feeding again. Give me meat, chili. Get off that menu as well. Meat, chili, sugar. Sweet, spicy, grilled meat. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, you can take that. And you're missing four health. You're actually still missing 30 health. Another meal? Another meal. You can take a honey, a chili. That's all you're getting. Another sweet, spicy grilled meat. You enjoyed the first one. Oh, you're not allowed it because I gave you one already today. Is that what this is? Oh, I see the way the upgrades are. They're in the very top left. The most unassuming font known to mankind. This is the upgrades. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, I understand now. I understand. Renka, I understand. Anyway, we shouldn't give them a grilled meat then. Do, do I have to give them a strange fish then? What if I give you a berry, some vinegar, <laughs> and an apple? What will this make you? A very sour juice. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Whoops. I'm actually learning. Now, we should deal with this. We want the apple. We want the honey. Let's see what else we can get. A fugitive. The warlock who is super rare. I think we're going to get the warlock with a red cross on the nose. When entering battle, apply one stack of deconstruct to all enemies. When any character takes an action, deconstruct triggers and deals 50% damage. This effect can't be stacked. Support skill, decrease target's mana by three after each attack. We are taking the warlock. There is another person here. Priest rare. Increased chance of being attacked. Gain four health after each attack. Okay, I can see a world where I use you as well. You guys can all just stack here for a little bit while, though. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I also want to figure out what I want to do with you now, because I've kind of just made my party, right? But maybe I can sneak you in here. Maybe that's the game plan here. Perhaps when they said that you could only go three wide, the game lied to me. Is that what happened? Because if I can do something like this... And... I guess this. I didn't have you at the bottom. All right, let me run with this four stack. Have I finished with small plaza yet? I don't think I have, have I? I've done with business. No, I've not done with business either. Oh my god. Alright, a flock of dark crows. They have no attack. Oh, okay, so I can't do it. Alright, the game is true to its words then. Surely though the warlock has to be better. It's super rare, right? Maybe it's you that goes. 
Okay, we'll, we'll forgo crit chance for your super move 5 million. I kind of wish there was more reason to have this, like, 50 girls, so to speak. Like, if they could be doing stuff in parallel. I mean, I guess I could be doing stuff in parallel, right? I could just do that, but it's so quick that it's like, why would you? Uh, the one's busy supermarket is now the domain of the beasts. I'm afraid you'll have to ask their permission to enter. Try enter a supermarket. The giant shell creature that has 120 health, 10 attack, summons three shell creatures upon death. It is a shadow creature. We might want to kill this, you know. Although I do have a unit with 20 health. Also, I don't know what this 50% damage is. Is it 50% of my damage? Is it 50% their damage? Uh god let's see how this goes i mean it's going pretty goddamn well right now these things are also really tough okay this is probably where our story ends I have no idea what this deconstructor's done, by the way. I think it's done, like, nothing. Or maybe it's just a one-time thing. Yeah, okay, so we lose. It actually wasn't a million miles away, though. Can you let me out, please? Do I... It's so weird, like, I can't leave that menu because I'm not allowed to take actions. But I guess now I'm allowed to exit it with a person? Sure. Okay, what foods do we have? We have probably like 18 million strange things. We might actually be at the point where I have to eat strange things at this point. Uh, meat, meat, meat. Don't double up on your meat. One of you can have an apple, two of you can have an apple, three of you can have applesauce. A berry. The other one. Honey. Can you go on my meat, please? Don't take that out of context. Uh, apple, honey. This one can have a bit of chili powder on it for, you know, a little bit of interesting flavor. This one can get a bit of sugar. All right, get cooking. Sweet grilled meat. Spicy grilled meat. And sweet grilled meat. Okay, so these give 10 health a pop. Enjoy. I can't because you've eaten it before, I see. All right, that's just gonna have to live there for a while. Will you eat the sweet? Nope, you won't. <laughs> Okay, so you won't eat it because you've eaten a sweet and a meat. Which then leads me to the question, how the fuck do I heal you then? Do I just give you stuff that hasn't got weird stuff on it? All right, we're gonna eat a strange thing. This plus vinegar plus sugar. We've made a sour sweet grilled fish. Honey and chili. Sweet, spicy grilled fish. We have a weird chicken as well. I'll give you a chili and a vinegar. Ah, sour spicy grilled meat. You won't eat it. I guess I didn't realize the chicken was gonna become a grilled meat. Come on, hard. Okay, how about I put meat and meat together? Just gives me super grilled meat. Fine, eat it. 
I can live with this. Although I say I can live with this, I could do with you getting attacked. Spicy grilled meat. We just have all the grilled meats here. All right, you never know, I might need... I might need that. Apostle Super Rare, increase the chance of being attacked. All allies gain five mana when weakened. All enemies receive five stacks of deconstruct. Support skill, when any, whenever a character is weakened, gain two mana. Increased chance of getting attacked. All allies gain five mana. Wow, they only have one health, by the way. When weakened. All enemies receive five stacks of deconstruct. We'll grab it. But I don't super know what I'm going to do with you. I guess if an enemy comes up with weakened, we have a, a tech card for it. What are you talking to me about now? Is this death? What are, what are you talking to me about? There's something it says that I'm unhappy with. Whatever, it's fine. All right, back to the village. We can't go in the supermarket then. <sighs> Strange fish upon death. Let's try again. I think we can beat this one. I assume that other shell creature then spits out some strange fish at the end. Okay. We take our strange fish, we move on. Let me try and fill up this last tile. You finally made it to the Twin Towers over the city, but this is just a new beginning. You're not kidding, this is just a new beginning. More coins. What's on the notice board? Uh, put your receipt on it if you need food delivery, it says. All right. I'll look for a receipt. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Fantastic. Uh, gates collapse, can't go in. Gates change shut. You need to cut through it. And megaphone. All right. So I think we're done with business district now. But we're not done with the residential area, so back to the city it is. Ordinary homes and sparse open spaces intermittently dot the landscape, and the repetitive surroundings make you get lost as soon as you enter it. The twin towers of the business district stand on the horizon in the distance, offering the only option other than moving forwards. The sky lacks depth and detail as if it was printed, giving the illusion of low resolution. Sky. Can I not click everything? So that's just what you were saying to me. The vacant lot. The occasional vacant lot used for construction with a billboard standing on one side that reads a telephone number. Oh, and this just brings me back here. Alright, let's move out of the residential area and see what happens here. Ordinary and sparse, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I've broke the game. I broke the game. All right, sorry. I apologize. Ranker, I'm sorry. I think then we've done with the abandoned highway for now. What was in the stream? What's gatekeeping me from doing stream? What ill beast is here? Oh, two fish. <laughs> That's the ill beast. Drift bottle. There is a drift bottle stuck between the roots of a tree at the river's edge, and it seems to have sat there silently for a long time. Where did it drift from? Who knows? Alright, while you nerds are doing this, this nerd can do this. Alchemist rare. We have picked up an alchemist. 
I'm gonna pick up another one. I will also open the can with my final tool. Spam. So I assume I can't give you spam again. I guess I'll give you spam then for the extra attack. Can you also go away? Just a trash can next to me? It's a, a bit disconcerting. Right, a, a group of light. Do battle. Holy shit, I destroyed them. They like didn't even get a go. Now, not too soft away you found another statue of a wanderer. Somehow the statue has had its arms broken off. I'll break something else off in a minute. There's nothing happened. So we're looking for arms. And there's still one more thing, probably. The king statue. You found a statue of a king under the shaded tree. Some of the statues had the face rubbed off. That's probably it for the, the stream location then. So does this give me resources now? I think we've tapped it out. Because we're just getting lights every single time now. Okay. What was Lakeside then? Why are we stuck here because of the wolf group we can kill wolves we we now know they were stronger than wolves detonate them stab them do all the good stuff more lake exploring please uh wait is there even a bar there oh i was on pause never mind i'm dumb in the serenity of the lake, there is a qui small quiet cabin, or quiet small cabin, surrounded by tranquil waters and verdant trees. This isolate abode, or isolated even if you could, you know, ring it, read, oh my fucking god. Uh, surrounded by tranquil waters and verdant trees, this isolated abode seems like a secret from the rest of the world. What's in the cabin? We found a cabin in the woods. There's a tidy bed, a messy bed, a bed full of debris. Uh, the interior layout is straightforward. Three beds, a desk, and a couple of cabinets. Clearly, there are people living here together. Or maybe there once was people living here. Oh, this table has something in it. The table was cluttered with miscellaneous items, but one of the cards immediately caught my eye. My picture was clearly printed on the card. Holy moly, we're making progress. And I gazed at the familiar yet unfamiliar face with a tinge of confusion and unease welling up in me. This card. Did I ever live here? If so, what was the crash about? Or is this a picture of me taken by someone else? I tried to search my mind for answers, but my memories remained as vague as if they were shrouded in fog. I looked around again and wondered if it was psychological, as the cabin began, uh, began to seem to reveal a sense of familiarity. Three beds are neatly arranged. Does this mean there are two other people associated with this place besides me? Who are they? And where are they now? Would they know anything? Although the mystery has only grown as a result of the investigation, at least there are now clues. There's no point in making wild guesses now, so let's just keep going. Card with my picture on it. Get in the... the bag. Bed full of debris? Or dolls, even? I pick out a doll gingerly. Alright. Did I read that as debris twice? It clearly says dolls. Okay, let's do some more exploring. So we found a cabin with stuff in it. We have to fight the strange fish. Cool, that's food. I am a little bit low on the old health. Uh, but we have more than enough to deal with these plebs at this point. Lemon, lemon tree branch. Is that one of the Eurovision songs next week? Ah, the shadows. The shadows might be a bit too strong for me in my weakened state, so 
I'll be back late, Si, don't you worry. Okay, so you're missing only three health. You're missing 23 health. You are missing all of the health. A hundred. Do we have any food here? No. Okay, what if I make... I'm, I'm just going to make grilled meat, though, is the thing. I was totally putting a lemon on something. Uh, what if I put it on berries instead? Like, a berry, a lemon. An apple. It's going to just make juice, though, isn't it? Sour juice with health. Okay, well, that's increased your health. I kind of needed it. I guess I just put, like, four fish together for a super feast. Holy shit, that's still not enough. I should have done four. Uh, ten and three. How about you just eat a berry? You eat an apple. And you eat two more fish. This time, not cursed fish. 99, I can live with that. Okay. Back to the lake. So this was shadows, right? Oh. Is it different? I thought... Hmm. I thought it was, like, preset. Once you got a certain event, you had to, like, do it eventually. A railroad track sits quietly on the lake, stretching endlessly into the distance as far as the eye can see. The railroad tracks sleep peacefully on a lake reflecting the sky. Like a bridge connected to the sky. So this is literally going over a lake, is what you're telling me. And lock gate. There was a notch in the lock of the door that appeared to be used to put in some kind of card. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I solved it. The sound of pleasant clang. You know you're right this time. The gate slowly opens and it's time to move on. Holy moly. Progression. Oh. The water ripples mysteriously and then chained shadow emerges from it suddenly attacking you. Deals 100% attack damage to the enemy on its attack. Well, no shit he does that. That's what it always does. I, I get it. It's kind of doing double damage, I suppose. I, I want to battle it. Wait, do I, can I only use one person? Is that what I'm learning? Can I do two? Nope. All right, if it's just one, showdown. Probably should have put you at full health. Come on. That was kind of at me, to be honest with you. Oh, do I not get any more people? Honestly, that's fine. Can you... Oh, you can't eat because you're tired. Hang on, Shadow. I'm coming back. This time I'm bringing... A doll. <laughs> no, I'm going to bring... A unit that is healed. I'm actually running out of food at an alarming rate. Right, it's on. There you go. We get a strange box. We get shining metal. I will heal you up. Oh God, I guess I should do it now. Wow, 64. Victory. Okay, can I unlock the new location, please? A shadow giant. I, I solve the riddle of the Sphinx. And what do you give me? An army of shadow people. What is this thing? Reduces one attack upon damage received. And I, I, I guess I have to 1v1 it. All right. Round two. It has zero attack. I think I've won. 
Multi attack just rolls it. Please, no more battles. I don't have the meat anymore. Holy shit, at the end of the railroad track is a station forgotten by time. It stands quietly on the calm surface of the lake, like an old stranded ship. Let me out. <laughs> Just let me out. So yeah, I think this is the the cap of people that I can get from letters. Cool, that's fine. Well, I guess I need to now go to the forest for a little while because I'm out of food. Actually, it might not be the best place for it. Maybe I should go to the fish place again. I think we got more fish from that. This is really just giving me trees and stuff. Uh, all right, let me have a look at the stream again and the explore the stream option. Yeah, there you go. That's me. That's a bit of protein. shadows this time. I mean, farming in this game, not the hardest of things. Don't go to the king statue. Alright, apparently I'm out of food in the lake now. Alright, sure. Sorry, game. Clearly upset you. All right, give me two fish. Put them on the bonfire, not in the forest. I really shouldn't put the bonfire near the forest now, like for law reasons. Probably not my best idea. Uh, you can also eat a single apple if I can find it. Nom 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 nom. There you go. So, what is the new game plan? There is a shadow giant at the lake. I guess... I guess I go back here for a little bit. You know what is the game plan? Doll with short hair. Where is that compass? I think I'm going to do a little cheat. Because otherwise we're going to actually be here for a lifetime. The compass points to the letter in the bottle, unsent letter in the bottle, Stream King statue, Stream Wanderer statue, statue of the cat, statue of the Libra, statue of the cross stars, king statue. All right, that's fucking fantastic. Thank you. Wait, where's my dolly? Oh, there you are. I just wanted to know, it said, you know, it, it, it said. What about this key? Locked truck. We'll look for a locked truck. Empty frame. Umbrella. What? Where were the umbrellas? Because I've seen umbrella. Wait, have I not got the umbrellas? Didn't I have three umbrellas or something? Yeah, I do have umbrellas. I don't understand. Where's the compass gone again? Right at the bottom. Okay. We have the compass. What if I put an umbrella on it? Steel cross. What if I need all the umbrellas? Hang on a minute. I've solved it. And the steel cross. Holy shit. 
Of course! Of course! How, how am I? I'm so stupid! A metal cross? Of course I put four fucking umbrellas on it and it turned into the umbrella windmill. Alright, what do I do now? Machine junkyard carousel. Alright, I I think I've solved the riddle of the Sphinx. Get me in there. And this is going to turn into a wind-powered one. You stick a windmill made of umbrellas above the carousel with a strong wind blowing over the machine junkyard. The ancient carousel slowly rotates once again. Did I not do this last time? Did I not try and put an umbrella on it and laugh? I was fucking right. I just needed to put four of them on there. And now the crying machine is going to be happy because I'm going to put him on the carousel and it's going to make him happy. Holy shit. You carefully place... By the way, I'll take that. You carefully place the crying machinery onto the carousel and it's soon its cries fade away. I'm making a happy robot. Just as you're about to remove it for inspection, the machinery suddenly pops out of a small hidden box and stops running. When you open the box, it's filled with bits and pieces of small toys like a gift left for you. We've done wind-powered carousel. I repeat, we've done it. Is this something telling me you're you're a god? You're the furthest person in this game? You've obtained a blueprint. Blueprints is an exclusive recipe. Use the blueprint and corresponding materials to craft items. The materials required are listed above the work description on design paper. What are you talking about? What did I get? Where's that robot? This guy? I'm not gonna lie, game. Oh, there it is. Never mind. The detailed blueprint showing how to make a beast trap: five metal, five wood, and a tool. Hang on a minute. We're probably gonna need this, so let's do it. It didn't need a workbench, though, right? No. Where are all my twigs? Where are my twigs? Oh, there they are. Holy shit, you have to do this one at a time as well. Like, I can't even do it fast enough. Okay, so that's five wood. Where are my cans now? I should have a ton of them. I actually don't have enough. Uh, how does one get cans? And I've already a tool already. Okay. So I just need metal. Which I guess Junkyard would be the most sensible spot, funnily enough. Yep. Okay. Now. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Should be a bit of solitaire. And then a tool. Like, <laughs> I don't know if this was not in the game before. It's also not working. Where are you, Blueprint? Wood times five. One, two, three, four, five. Metal times five. One, two, three, four, five. And a tool. Does it have to be on a workbench? Because I will be apocalyptically cross if I lose all of this and you turn it into something else. Give me the workbench. Give me a person. Maybe you have to put it in the blueprint. Okay, I figured it out. I have a beast trap. Sweet. What does it do? <laughs> Why have I done this? Where is the super compass 5 million? If I ever lose this compass, by the way, it is game over. Where's my compass? No, seriously, guys, where's my compass? <laughs> C 
Pompous. Did it have a limited the number of uses? Was I not paying attention? Where did I last have it? Well, we... We're screwed. Unless it was a limited use thing, in which case we got a lot out of it. Well, I don't remember it saying it was a limited use thing. It's there. I, I, all is saved. Reattach any appendage you just ripped off then because I couldn't see it. Forest small trail. Right. I want you, game. I know your tricks, tips, and more. Carcasses of small animals can be seen. It's harvest time. Obtain extra items upon the successful delivery of supplies. What? What? Do I have to put stuff on there? Is that what it's telling me? Didn't like a berry. What about a wild vegetable? All right, I'm gonna assume it's just passively over time gives me stuff. And it's not been enough time yet, so it's passively giving me nothing. Ooh, poultry meat, very delicious. All right, what other, like, weird crap have they got still? I have tons of this black slime, which we've figured out you could combine with the box to turn into a sticky box. But then I washed my box and destroyed it. But I guess I'll do this again to have another one of them. Using it will remove all attribute enhancements and return the points. Okay, maybe it has other uses. I've got one, so it's fine, we have one. Floor mirror, mysterious compass. So is that it for weird things now? Oh no, machine remains, that's what I wanna check. Where are you, super compass five million? Metal waterfall, small mound. We're on it. That's not where I wanted to go, but thanks. That's where I want to go. Where's the compass gone again? There it is. So I bury it then. Is that what we're saying here? I perform a little machine burial for my robot friend who died in the great umbrella carousel orange compato green compato okay you need this you need this these are gold dust we hold the other ones you attacking twice for 11 seems unbelievably good okay so this monitor is the code right the 8501 one yes So we've done with this, the glowing pool I needed a receptacle, right? What was limiting me in giant machine? Serial number. How do I... 
Oh, hang on a minute. Crack. Oh, this tells me to go to the ship and then you have to fight Robo God. Mechanical creature has 12 attack, attacks ignore mana effect. You know what? We might be able to kill this. Oh, but only with one. Well, now I think about it. <laughs> it's only three rounds of attacks from this person, as long as they hit the double attack. Which I think is 70%. But if we miss one of them, we die. I think. No, actually, if we miss one, we could live. Try it. You missed one. You've missed two. I think you're dead now. Unless I can't count. Can we now come in? Restore 40 health upon damage received. It has 20 health. In front is a closed door, which upon closer inspection reveals that it doesn't have any unlocking mechanisms on it. It seems to be intentionally dusted and looks impossible to open by conventional means. That's when you realize that you have to rely on brute force. All right, kick the door in. Help me, I'm in a never ending battle. Help. <laughs> Why am I only doing 13 to it? Can, can I help me? I am in a never ending battle. Huh. Anything in this in the tutorial? Can I cancel a battle? If not, this is some poor game design here. Force end combat. Okay, they thought it through. So, resource 40 health when receiving damage. Max health 20. Why could I not kill it with you? Why were you only ever doing 13 damage? Oh, wait, 40, I have to do 22 at a time. I see, I see my issue. I'm dumb, I understand. Let me out. I, I don't... I don't want the combat. Just let me out. Sorry, I realise I've paused the game again. So we can't do that right now. We have 800 jellyfish. A collapsed warehouse. A huge anchor. Some jellyfish. The crack that goes in here. So, are we done here as well? Is that what I'm learning right now? Right, if that is the case, then back to ruins, I suppose. We had the dark tunnel here. What was restricting me in the dark tunnel? Oh, it was some sort of god, right? We just have to live. Can you stack? Thank you. The problem is you're not going to live. And it has to be a one person job. Twenty-four, you have to live for five turns. So I need like two hundred no, that's dumb mass. I need 120 health. Right? Wait, I can do it. Me get out of there. Where is the person that when you attack you gain health? Was it you? Oh, reducing damage by 20% would also be pretty fucking good right now. Uh, you can take that instead. Who is in the heels? Did I not take them in the end? The priest or whoever it was? 
Or did I put it on someone else? Ah, oh, whatever. Now please oh, don't return. <laughs> ah! I can see why people wanted just click on the button features, not drag a stack of three. Oh, well, you are so, you're so done. Deal three damage to all characters and damage received. <sighs> Let me just quickly whip up a meal. Uh, should we do a berry feast, an apple feast, a fish feast? What? One, two, three, four. The gourmet fish buffet is on its way. Only 58 health. I'm still missing 20, right? Holy shit, I'm missing 50 now. You are the hungriest person on the planet. Like, that's still quite a long way. I'll give you an apple as well, and now you can stop, okay? Oh, I, I bet you I can't do it with all three again, isn't it? Okay, so what is the winning choice here? Three damage to all characters and damage received. What if I just try to blow it up? Not the best idea. Much better idea. It turns out just putting a tank in there is a good idea. Now, I'm gonna have to bring you back again. I don't actually have enough food, I think. And I am not getting letters anymore. How much? 50. Uh, two fish will get you pretty close. Uh, and then I'll put on top of that an apple. Good enough. Right, please, no more battles. Please open up a new area for me because I am struggling right now, game. We've done it. The dark tunnel seems to have reached the end, and the space ahead of you begins to become spacious again. Vaguely aware that the around next corner will step into a huge room. Is it the furries? Oh my god. The sheer size of the underground palace is majestic. Uh, is it, sorry, it's unbelievable. Its majestic structure seems to test the depths of the Earth's core. The giant statues on either side are like sleeping guardians, quietly watching over the forbidden lands. Looking up, the dome is painted with stars that look like the real night sky. Being there, it feels as if you've traveled through space and time. We can under explore under here. I have a slip of paper. A slip of paper is found beneath, beside the statue in the underground palace. Cool. Can you tell me what's on the slip of paper? Uh, at the back of the pool, you find a small wooden box. Opening the box, you find a note inside with some incomprehensible writing. Okay, I see. I can't read it. Never mind. Okay, I wonder if I can put my star things on this. I know one of them's cracked. I maybe have to repair that. It does nothing. Of course it does nothing. Uh, they were combining them by the way. Let me have a look at this again. So it's four of them to combine. 
into Stardust. Does that do anything? Nope. Okay, it's fine. We're, we're still progressing. The cracks seem like fireworks. Let me just keep exploring. Let me try and tap this out for a bit. Uh, the tiny fire that burned out could not be rekindled. A small fire seems to have just been found now. A similar even. Uh, he stood in front of the fire and quickly realized that the fire is similar to the previous one. So you follow the smoke wafting from the fire with an, and reach a tunnel. Okay. Follow the bonfires. A slightly colder tunnel, a far cry from the early ancient underground palace. The sturdy walls and intricate pipes overhead revealed that this place is much younger. These flying mechanical creatures can also be seen in the tunnels, and are clearly more tricky than the ones I previously stum stumbled upon. I have to fight all of them at the same time. Do it. Everyone go for it. I think we're gonna be okay. We are okay. I even got just pure Stardust then. Underground Flower Garden. At the end of the tunnel is a field of flowers. Despite the absence of sunlight here, the flowers are bright and radiant. Can I pick a flower, please? And I can put it on my little robot friend's grave. And maybe it gives me some more compote or whatever it's called. Fields of flowers growing underground are bright and radiant. Flowers are in full bloom despite there being no sunlight. Yeah, no shit. Can I have something else, please, as an, an event from that? I just killed God for it. Again, I saw a familiar bonfire. I followed the smoke, drifting from the fire as I had done before. But who really left the fire? We didn't start the fire. It's always been burning since the stardust has been coming. I didn't start the fire. Dee -dee 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 dee dee And how was the direction of the smoke controlled? The smoke eventually led me to a hard walled cavern that appeared to be some sort of underground bunker, and the view inside was quite unique. Inside the cave, white flowers stared blooming. There is a sofa in the picture. In the middle of the flower sat a lone couch, and the subhuman sitting on it seemed to be the owner of the place. The subhuman greeted me warmly when she noticed me. Here, sit down first. Sit down and talk. Coke or coffee? Is that Coca-Cola or, you know... You know what I mean. What's a Coke? Is it because I can't remember from my amnesia? As much as I wanted to ask the other person what a Coke was, this was not the time to bring up such a question, so I uh, dutifully answered coffee. I would never have answered coffee, by the way. Uh-huh, I see. The other party snapped to things and a can of coffee appeared from midair, and I subconsciously caught it. Don't worry about drinking it. It's in a can, so it can't be drugged. Uh, you just manifested it out of nothing. It could be anything, for all I know. I might open it and a snake comes out. Surprise! Uh, are you going to ask questions, or should I? The subhuman asked. You speak first. She kept asking for my opinion, but then again, she didn't give me a choice under a imposing pressure. I can't help but imagine what... Would it be like if there was Anne talking to her? I don't know if Anne has mentioned me to you, but simply put, I am the nominal leader of the subhumans. By duty, I'm called the gatekeeper. No, I don't think you were the gatekeeper. Honestly, I think those giant light beings, the, the werewolf packs, the, the shelled being, the robots, the drone strikes, they were the gatekeepers. You've honestly been pleasant. Uh, despite being in this particular time, there is still a significant portion of the clan that is unwilling to cooperate with the humans, so I have led these children to be stationed in this neighbourhood. I came to you this time to ask you for a favour. Uh, though the subhumans are all on the conservative side, and by and large, it's a life of taking things as they come, but it's not completely passive either. One of the subhuman had a remarkable result. It might even reveal the secrets of this place. She doesn't have enough power of her own, though, so I'm hoping you can reach out to her. For the specifics, it's best to let her tell you herself. Ah, finally finished speaking. I'm so tired, I can't even. 
With that, before I could react, she rested it above my kneecap. A furry. Soft touch coming from it. Hmm, seems like I forgot something. Have I not agreed to her yet? Why does it feel it's already decided? As if reading what I was thinking, the gatekeeper snapped her fingers. A remote control appeared from midair, and I subconsciously caught it again. With this remote control, you can open the drain in the underground palace pool. Then you can proceed into the sewers. The furry sewers? I don't know about that. After saying this, she gently tilted her head to one side and buried her face in my stomach. I smiled at the corner of her lips and said no more. I sighed softly and then lifted my hand to touch her ear. Well, it sure feels good. We have the pool remote control. We have white flowers, white flowers, white flowers, the gatekeeper, the sofa. Can I go on the sofa? Can I go to the gatekeeper? Do I need to go single? No, no, no. On the back of the sofa is 61. Sofa 61. And was that the bunker? Oh, yellow and blue flowers. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Okay. And I can take the remote to the pool, is what they said. Let me out of here for a second. I want to see what my supplies were. I'm a bit alarmed that I'm not getting people anymore. But maybe this is the limit. Maybe I mistook it. Maybe the limit is three, nine people. I could also have a look at buying someone. Let me see if I can buy someone. Do I have 10 shiny? Surely I have 10 shiny. I do. just put it in my inf like a dribbler there's actually one other thing i want to do though so let me just do that while i'm here does Anne say anything else now we've got a new dialogue no unless there's like a subcategory within the subhumans maybe i'll deal with that next time though because i think i'm gonna wrap up here in a moment let me just get the reference letter let me open it Uh, strange Believer. Gain one mana when being attacked, max eight. Increased damage by 30% when attacking shadow type targets. Uh, assassin increases crit damage by 200% or gain three mana during combat, the cleric. Uh, give me an assassin, I suppose. But I'm just going to put you to the side for now. Okay, that's Marold. Again, if you want to, if you want me to play a little bit more of this game, then... Let me know in the comments below and we can try and like figure our way out. Even if you tell me you're not going, you don't want me to, I might have a little crack on my own anyway to uh, keep playing through this. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out and I'll see you again next time. Bye.